Hey, welcome back. It's Jessica Oots with Jessica Oots Real Estate with Keller Williams Success here in Layton, Utah. Um, I've been going through the different steps. There's six easy steps to buying a home. Um, sometimes it's a little more simple than others, but at least having a, a good agent that you can trust in your back pocket is always beneficial and I recommend. But uh, today is the exciting day. We get to talk about closing and what happens once you've gone under contract, you've found the perfect home, gone under contract, gone through inspection, all the negotiations that need to happen, and now we're finally to closing. Um, there are some costs that come with closing. I'm not gonna go into specific numbers um, because that changes depending on the market, depending on the area. So definitely talk to a professional about those closing costs, but um, some of them are that you'll need to pay for are, like I said, the closing costs for part of the loan amount, um, the lender fees, title fees, appraisal fees, all of those things get paid for at close, at least in my area. Your earnest money is money you've already put down at the time of going under contract. If you have any inspection that you've paid for, that's money that you'll need to have up front to pay the inspector. I've done a quick video about that to make sure that you know the importance of getting an inspection. So definitely make sure you have some money set aside for that. Uh, sometimes there's a survey fee depending on your area. Um, if the land is well mapped out, it's not always prudent or needful to be able to have that. Um, but in some more rural areas that maybe there's not fencing or good landmarks, it doesn't hurt to have a surveyor come out either. Um, miscellaneous fees, there are some stuff that just comes up during uh, the closing process that you'll want to have some money for. Uh, your one-year homeowner's insurance is due, it's at least here in Utah, at the time of close and at the time of recording. Again, all those things can change. Um, but also make sure if you have any monies in reserve that you want at the time of sale so that once you close, you can come in. Maybe you've decided you're ready to paint. I wanna go over real quick one thing that I can't say often enough, and that is to maintain your pre-approval status. Um, we hear horror stories, but know that they're real in that um, someone's got their home and they're ready, they love it, they're so excited for it, um, they can't wait to furnish it, and they go out to the local furniture shop and put a brand new living room set on credit, get to the closing table, realize that the lender has run their credit again, notices that there's a difference and they no longer qualify for that loan. So terrible situation to be in. Once you go under contract, don't change anything, even up to a couple days after closing um, when it comes to your, your credit. So even paying things off can change things. Um, just keep it as is, pay your bills as normal, Keep everything normal. Don't go buy a new car to fit in your new garage. <laughs> Wait until you've closed. But maintaining that pre-approval, I can't stress it enough. Make sure that you, and if you have questions, check with your lender, check with your realtor, check with someone who is um, a professional and that you know and trust that can give you good solid information because you don't wanna get to that closing table and everything falls apart. Unfortunately, it can. Um, but once you get there and you have maintained your pre-approval, you finally get to come to the closing table and that you'll bring with you your certified funds. Most of the time, the lender will provide that to title. But if it's a, another option, maybe you've wired money, you'll need to have proof of that wire. Um, and so most of the time that's taken care of right before you get to the closing table, but they will have to be there at the closing table. You'll have to have evidence of insurance. Um, I'm going to do another video about bundling and how you can maybe save a little bit of money by using the same insurance that you use for your car insurance and maybe get a little bit of a break. Not sure of who's reputable. Talk to your agent, find someone that they can refer you to, but also talk to your family, talk to your friends. Who have they had good experiences with and who do they use? It's another really good way to go about finding an insurance company that works for you. And you'll also need to have your ID. 
So that's it for sure one thing in your pocket that you'll need to bring is your driver's license or state ID. Um, if you don't have either of those, again, check with your title representative or your real estate agent to make sure that you have the information you need when you get there. Um, because you will have to have proof that you are who you are, right? Um, but the exciting thing is what you get to take home with you is the settlement statement. Um, the title company I use gives this great little booklet with all the information about your loan, about the home, pointers, and title information. So you get to walk away with that. Um, depending on when possession of the home comes, again, another good reason to have someone reputable on your side is that they can help you figure out when it is that you get the keys because that's the next step as soon as possession happens you can get those keys used to be that at the closing table you got the keys but now it's at recording when you finally do get that so that's exciting um, and then they start to transfer the title uh, that title gets transferred to the lender or to you depending on how you finance that but either way, it's an exciting time. Uh, one of my favorite days, I really do enjoy the entire process of helping people buy and sell homes. It's so fun to me. Um, and also, I think it's one of the best investments I know I've made. Uh, so that's why I, I do what I do, because I love it as much as I do. But I hope these have been helpful. You can go back and look, six easy steps. One video goes through all six steps, just real quick, and then we take another little deeper dive. Um, I love to believe that everything always works in order, and um, sometimes there are issues that arise, so it's always good to have some someone behind you. And again, all of these ideas are, are what I do in my area, so check with someone local to you if you have any questions about your area. Maybe you're a little bit different than I am. Maybe you're in a different state or area. Anyway, hope you guys are safe and well. I want everyone to take care and put comments below if you have any ideas or questions that you want answered about purchasing a home or selling a home even. I hope you guys stay safe and well.